Good morning, traders. Greg here from Master Trader. Taking a look at uh, where the markets uh, are here, pre market, what they did yesterday. So we've got this move up in the uh, S&Ps there up into major resistance, and it's no surprise that they stall there. They could have gone through it, of course, but typically prices are going to stop in an area of major resistance when they've come from an area of significant support and move directly up there. Uh, if they push through it, the majority of the time is it'll begin to stall immediately after it pushes through it and then begins to come back in again. So this is really a little bit of a better scenario rather than pushing through it uh, marginally uh, rather it stops just below and begins to consolidate here um, and what we want to see from the bullish point of view is that any pullback you know doesn't fill the gap so when we see gaps like this the ideal scenario from the bullish point of view is that the gap does not get filled rather um, it prices begin to move sideways and reason for that be the the, the thought process behind uh, the pattern and since I've been an educator for many many years in the industry it's always about the thought process behind the pattern um, not just looking at what the name of the pattern might be whether it's a head and shoulders top whether you know it's a breakout uh, whatever the name might be it's the thought process so this move up has created what I call a price void. And you may hear others say that within the industry, and that for sure will tell you that they're one of my students. Uh, but the price void is a momentum move, and that can be caused by gaps or fast moves, um, which opens up the door to retracements. Now, if prices won't retrace, what that tells you is that demand continues to come in and build up new support where there was none. And right now, the way this looks as we look at this 30 minute, 24 hour chart is that it's actually building up an area of resistance. And while I'm not, I cannot tell you that what uh, ultimate certainly just yet, and the only reason I can is because it hasn't broken down yet, but this sideways move that built up this support resulted in a move to the upside but it retraced a hundred percent back down into where you know the move started from or the base so now we have it's going sideways here and here is a textbook textbook upward shakeout play you could say well greg that kind of looks like it head and shoulders top i say, yeah it does but those those type of names are are really um, I wouldn't say irrelevant, but it, they don't explain to you uh, the pattern and, and the thought process behind the pattern. So you, any head and shoulders top or an upside shakeout is comprised of a strong move, some sideways action, which is bullish, a continuation of that action, and then a failure of that action, and then a continued sideways move. And what this sideways move is communicating to you is that buyers are coming in at support but they can't push it higher so at some point well you can see this little blip here you can say it's starting to push higher fine but it's a blip if they were able to push back up here that would be encouraging if you're long or you're looking for prices to go higher however this is now built an area of what would be resistance if it starts to break down and then at that point odds are it comes here so that's a very you know short-term view on a smaller time frame but the analysis would be the same as if i was looking at a daily or weekly chart and so let's just take a look at the cues and we're gonna move on here so the cues you know obviously great move up stall yesterday they're holding up here today they're up about as you can see right here 1375 um they were a bit higher they've Kind of come in and you now they're just trying to recover so sideways action there um you know, we got a bit of a trading range i really meant to draw that like that bit of a trading range going on uh so we'll see at, th at this point you know unless you're scalping <clears throat> i would say that uh the long side should be uh refrained from because prices are extended here and 
you know, I don't expect, you know, not that I don't, you know, you just don't expect because after a straight up move like that, you don't expect a continuation without <clears throat> some type of corrective action. And what would that be? You know, a little education here, what would that be? Well, if today turned in to be a bottoming tail bar, which means right now it's green, if it went down and at the end of the day was green, that would be a correction bar in a move out of a consolidation. And I would then like that as a continuation play. Right now, we just have some narrow range bars going sideways right there. The Dow up against this resistance has been showing relative weakness. Um, you know, same, same story, just in a different location than the chart. Same sideways price action there. Um, bonds chopping around here at support. We covered that yesterday. Not of any interest. Oil continues its weakness even though it hit its 200 MA. And that little bit of support there, if you remember from yesterday's uh, video, I said we have a wide area. And, you know, once you have this kind of weakness, I say, well, there's the 200. That's a focal point. Agreed. But the best area is going to be down here where there's going to be more buyers. So if it comes down there, then we'll see what, what you know, shapes up as far as demand at that time. So we don't have a lot of things moving here pre-market of significance. Uh, I just see some popping into my screen here. This has been a real dog. And it's only popping up 55 cents, not a biggie. I mean, you've got, you know, Amazon, Starbucks, um, Intel, Microsoft today and reporting earnings. And there's just a whole slew of so many earnings reports coming today. So be aware of that. Check Check them out. Uh, know what you're getting into. Be aware whether they report it or not. Um, trade intelligently. That's it for this morning, folks. Have a great trading day, and we will talk soon.